Good morning, everyone. My name is Utoxin, and welcome to another Factorio tutorial. And I am Taryn, the kicker of sides. She is. Um, as you can see here, we have a couple power generation systems set up. We have a traditional steam engine and boiler set up, uh, like you would build near the start of the game. And we have a nuclear reactor set up uh, to simulate later game power. They're going to be a big bada boom. There is not going to be a big bada boom. At least Hopefully. Th there better not be. I'm pretty sure those nuclear reactors can't actually explode. Um, I've got them powered, I've got them fueled so that they're heating up, but they are currently disconnected from water so that they cannot, well, they've got a little water in there, so we'll need to, as soon as they've heated up, we'll need to uh, drain the power out of them. Because what I'm going to show you is a little tiny circuit I use to disable my steam engines after I have nuclear power um, and enable them if I start running low on power um, because it's it's not good to... Uh, how, to how to explain this? Nuclear reactors always burn their fuel. It doesn't matter whether they're actually generating power or not. They burn their fuel at a constant rate and that's just the way it is. So you want to get as much use out of that as you can and conserve uh, the fuel for your steam engines. And so that is what I am going to show you with the circuit I am going to set up. And that is coming up to temp. Um, so we are close. For now, I'm going to turn this on just so it starts burning some fuel. And as soon as these come online, they will burn up their power. Because um, they will be getting there soon. Um, this is the same basic blueprint I use in my main YouTube series. Um, <laughs> Those things are running full bore. That is, that is crazy. Um, I'm, for, I'm just using a creative energy void here to suck up the energy from these networks to demonstrate things. Um, so, okay, those are starting to burn up their water. That is good. Yep. Okay, so... Those will be done soon, and I can show you this. Um, I will uh, actually. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. I will. I will be back as soon as everything is ready to go. Okay, we are back. I am going to disable that power switch for now, so that our network's power usage goes back to minimal. So the idea is that we normally want this producing all of our power, and we want to disable the steam engines unless we're running low on power. I've seen a few different ways to do this, but there's a really simple one that I am a big fan of. If I get just a few accumulators, um, I usually use like four or eight of them just so I have a little bit of a power buffer built into this. Uh, these tend to be the only accumulators on the network, although they don't have to be. So you just put down, like, we'll just say four accumulators right there, and we will drop a substation over here so that they can power up. So right now the steam engines are charging them. And then you just need some wire, which I don't have any on me. There we go. So just take a wire from one of them and hook it to the pump. So then this outputs its charge level as signal A. Uh, right now its charge level is 100, but we come over here and we say, I want you to be enabled and disabled by signal A. I want you to enable if signal A is less than, say, 75%. So what that means is that when this accumulator drops below 75%, this pump will get turned on. Otherwise, this pump is disabled. And you can see it is slowly chewing through the water. Let us go turn this on just to demonstrate. I presume that will drain. I don't actually know. We'll find out. I might need an active energy sink. Okay, those are now draining their power. I'm not sure what's actually using the power. Yeah, I need an active energy sink. 
Um, active energy void, please. Yeah, there we go. Now it's going down a lot faster. Is that configurable by any chance? Hmm. Okay. So, that as soon as that dropped below 75%, these turned on. Now, the way this works in the long run is... Let me remove that. Is that, that is not going to manage to charge those because the other thing is consuming all the energy in the network. So we will hook these back up. And this is this is a little bit difficult to demonstrate with like uh, creative stuff. Um, but if I disable that now, These will quickly get charged up. And as soon as they go over 75%, that will get turned off. You can see that is now off. Which means these will be... Here, let's throw some more of these down to absorb energy so that these can drain their water. But you'll see that these are running and producing power, and the steam engines are shutting down. So that is that's the gist of it. Um, they, they, you know, the the accumulator signal is what disables those just by turning on and off the pump. Um, and the nice thing is because of how it turns it off, the water stays in these for a little while. So you, it doesn't cut off the power instantly. It cuts it off and then you continue to get a little bit of generation for a little while, so you have some lag built in, which is nice. Um, it comes on basically immediately and then takes a little while to turn off, so it's, it's basically ideal. So yeah, there we go. That is the gist of it. Um, yeah, that's it's really that simple. It's just like, it's it, it, you can do it with a single accumulator and a single piece of wire. Um, and it just works. As I said, I prefer additional accumulators just to give my network that little bit of extra power buffer so that this has time to, you know, actually kick on before the network is completely drained. But that's about it. My name is Utoxin. This has been another episode of Utoxin's Factorio Tutorials, and I will see you next time.